Go. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Rocky Mountain Electric Flipping, gamble dealer for Utah, Colorado, and Nevada. I'm Jason. And I'm Lisa. Uh, we're here, uh, going to talk a little bit about our favorite things, but we'll give everyone a little bit to get on, get on and join the, the light before we start, because there's, there's a lot of good stuff here. Yeah, a few of our favorite things, <laughs> right? That's what we're going to share today. Some of the things that make our quilting a lot easier and enjoyable, and it's the little things. We all have lots and lots of gadgets, yeah. right? It, Jason and I have collected my fair share over oh, all the yeah. years, <laughs> and um, I have drawers full of gadgets, but you know, we're going to show a few things that... I use almost every day or frequently use that make my quilting a lot easier and we hope it'll make your quilting experience a lot easier too and they're simple yeah. things aren't they yeah and we joke around that we like to call it lisa's no cry kit yeah i do have a lisa's no cry <laughs> kit because when i first started quilting it was many many years ago my i bought my gamble over 20 about 23 25 years ago yeah i think it was and um I was young and I, I get really frustrated and you know sometimes I would cry over it because it would make me so frustrated. So there's a few things that we're going to show our customers and our friends today that will help make this experience a lot easier, right? <laughs> and then hopefully when you're quilting at 2 in the morning and your thread keeps breaking, you can pull out the no cry kit and you can fix the problem and go on. <laughs> and I hope when you do that you might get a smile on your face and giggle a little bit because it is a silly way to put it. But I'm embarrassed to admit that I really did used to have a few tears <laughs> about this process. So, and I'm I, sure everyone's been there before. Yeah, and I've had some great mentors through the years, and so, and we're going to show some of. Uh, one of my mentors was Linda Taylor, and we're going to show some things that she introduced to me also that really helped me make this a better experience. So, think we need to get started. Yeah, let's get there. started. Okay. All right. So our first item isn't really something that we sell, but it's something that everyone has generally has access to that can find pretty easily. So. This, this little thing was, this little thing, this is a bobbin holder, and this was introduced to me, it was a gift from one of our customers in, in Bowler City, Nevada. She gave this to me, um, and she made it, and it holds my bobbins perfectly, and you can see, this is an antique um, ruler, yeah, a long ruler. And so I went to the store, and I picked some up, and of course I can't get the little skinny ones anymore, so I picked some up at the local uh, shops, and look what I, I made. It fit my, Needle. my needles perfectly, and all my little tools, and so those sit in our drawers here at the shop, and we really enjoy them, right? They're kind of fun. So, they're kind of fun. Um, the next item kind of goes along with let you grab a, oh, a needle. Grab a needle out. Sure. The next item that we love, it's not part of the no cry kit, but it's this little guy. It's a needle alignment magnet. And it's great because you can get your needle out, okay? And you can see the thread group. The thread group. Mm -hmm. You can place this on it and watch this. Oops, if I can get it right on. It'll sit straight. If you push it, it'll it pushes back to where it's straight. So you can put this on your needle as you're putting into the machine, and it helps you figure out what angle your needle is sitting at. So that way you know if you need to angle a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, you can see what angle you're at. And it's just a really helpful guide. And then when we're done, we like to put it on the top of our machine. That way we don't lose it because it is pretty small. But best $4 you'll ever, you'll ever spend. Right? And I'm getting older, Jason, so I don't see as well. So I really do like my, <laughs> my, my, that little piece. So here's another thing that we have in our, in our, our favorite things, and that's the spot lifter too. So what that's for is if you get a little bit of a grease spot or you get some dirt on your quilt, then you go ahead and you can spray that on and it'll lift that right up out of your quilt and it's safe to use and easy to use. And I've used it in my car too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Tex guys got a little bit of oil on the visor when they pulled it down. and Right, yeah, those Tex, they get little greasy <laughs> fingers in my car and it works really well. All right, so. this next item is great for when you're at home and you're you know, with the whole COVID, you're trying not to go out as much, trying to limit the contact. This is an Omni Thread Guard. Thread? Guide. Thread Guide <laughs> Color Card. There we go. <laughs> Tongue twister. Uh, but anyways, it's great because you can pull this out, open it up, and you can see all the different colors so you can match yeah. the thread to your quilt. And if you don't have it, then you can go to the store and say, okay, this is the color I need, and you can buy it online. Because we all know sometimes what you, color you see on the monitor isn't the color you get when it comes. That's so true. having one of these is really nice. Yep, it makes your ordering convenient and make sure you get the right colors. And you can order from our long arm store or you can call our store and put in orders. We can ship them to you or you can come and pick them up at the door, right? Yep. Yeah. And most different threads have a color card. Um, I don't, I'm not sure about Glide, but I know Permacore, Omni, Signature, they have, they have color cards for us. Right, absolutely. Okay, this is another one of our favorite things, right Jason? That's right. So cleaning your machine is so important because what it does 
this should be part of my no cry kit because threads get in the wrong place and they, they just make this very difficult, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so Simple Green is something that we like so, or something similar to this. Um, it just cleans up your tracks and gets the grime off. And then your microfiber cloth. Absolutely. Wipe it down, use your microfiber, clean it off. Yeah. Uh, these aren't things we sell. But the things we recommend that you you find and buy. <laughs> right, exactly. And there are microfiber cloths. They're very inexpensive. They're just found at like in the automotive departments and things like that. They come in a in a bundle and they're very inexpensive. So when they get all greasy, you can throw them away even if you yep. want. But it picks up the dirt. It doesn't push the dirt yeah. around. Microfiber picks dirt up. Especially the lint. And the lint. They're perfect for lint. And that we are in a linty business, aren't we? And the one we use doesn't have alcohol. alcohol. Um, so that way, you know, with COVID going right now, you can't find the ones with alcohol. So don't. <laughs> yeah, you don't need them, so nope. just some simple green. Okay, Jason, what's that? This is what I use with my cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't use that one for your cat, but you do have one like that. I do that have one in my house for <laughs> okay. a cat. This is the one we keep in the store. But we use this, uh, to, you know, it's just a, a cat brush. To, you, the simple. ideal use was intended that you brush your cat to get the hair off, right? <laughs> However, we've modified it, and we use it with our Velcros that's on the tables. And what you can do is you can just take this, and you can actually see... It pulls up that Velcro. It doesn't take Velcro, but it pulls Sorry. the dirt out pulls of Velcro. Up, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting there. It pulls up, pulls up the batting, the lint. You do it enough, and it, it, it'll come right off. And then it's here, and you can pull it off and throw it away. So nice to help keep your the Velcro on your arms clean. That way you get a good contact with those straps. Yeah, good way to clean that out. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is part of my No Cry Kit. So this is called Bone Ash. And have you ever had your needle break unexpectedly, tattered a few holes in the top of the quilt, clipped the thread and got too close, maybe clipped a little piece out of your, your quilting? So that's not a very good thing. And so what this does, bone ash actually is a powder that you can you put with your little snippings of your fabric and it mends the holes in your fabric. So that way you don't have to cry. And there's a funny story about this. I did have a quilt that um, I put some holes in and it was a customer's quilt. The needle broke, right? Yep, and it tattered it and it, I was didn't want to you know you don't want to tell you no no one that, wants to but you do tell them and so what I did was it was Bobby's quilt and um, I mended it and I took it to Bobby and I with gave her bone ash. yep I mended it with a bone ash and I took the quilt back to Bobby and gave her ten percent off the quilting fee and then I said to Bobby if you can find the hole in your quilt then I'll give you another ten percent off she never did find the hole and Bobby and I are still friends and we laugh about that to this day but. That is part of the no-cry kit, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Another thing about that, that's in the no-cry kit. Absolutely. The Toa Bobbin Case Tension Gauge. Great way to simplify your tension problems just by making sure you can get the tension in your bobbin right. Because once you get that right, all you have to do is play with the top. Right. You don't have to worry about the bobbin. You can play with the top to set it to where you see it being good, yep. and then you're good to go. Absolutely, that is part of the no cry kit. This is another great convenience, is an extra toa bobbin case. And the reason we have an op extra toa bobbin case is twofold. If you're having problems with your stitch, and you can't figure out what you need to adjust, putting in, having this separate toa, if you put a new toa in and it solves your problem, you know it was in your bobbin case, yeah. right? Simple, simple deduction. However, I like to quilt my quilts one time only, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. And if I'm gonna do that, I want it right the way yeah. I want it, right? Because you should only quilt the quilt once, yeah. is what we say. And so I have lots of extra bobbin cases, probably about four, because I like to change my colors. So I have one for the red thread, the green thread, the blue thread, and I set those tensions, and then using all the, I have to- Using the yep, gauge, using my toa, mm -hmm. And then all I have to do is pop the red thread in, when I change colors, pop the blue one in and the pull, tension. Pull the top. And yep. Set my tensions, and I can switch my threads back and forth on my quilts very quickly and keep my tension um, right on. Yep. Okay. All right, and let's do another item on our no cry kit. Right. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. We'll do this one. Okay. Okay. Whoopsies. Okay. We'll come on and see that one. So this is the I hate ironing because I hate ironing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is re this is really great. Uh, you, you spray this on and it really takes out those creases and the wrinkles. Yeah. Uh, I remember you were doing a class once. You sprayed it on. Didn't even iron, right? You just sprayed it on, and literally within 15 minutes that crease was gone it did. on the quilt. Also, I've had a quilt where I had a big, the bottom of my quilt really um, sagged. And I was really afraid of getting a tuck in that. And I couldn't finger it, I couldn't move it in. And so I took the I Hate to Ironing and I sprayed on the bottom of the quilt where that ba backing was sagging, went in upstairs for 20, 30 minutes, let it set, came back and the back was straight across. 
pulled that backing right up, and uh, I didn't get any tucks on the quilt. So this really is, should be a part of our no cry kit, right? Yeah, it should okay. be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the next thing that I really like is this brush. And it's just an old-fashioned brush that we've had in, the, in our uh, kits for many years. But what it does is it cleans out, thank you, it cleans out my bobbin case really well. So I can clean up the bobbin case, and I can also clean the bobbin area under my machine, my hook assembly, and keep that real clean. When it gets dirty and dark, you know, black from the grease and oils and things, I just take it to the sink and wash it out with some Dawn dishwashing soap, and it's clean again, and dry it up and use it. And it's that's a great brush. It's and just to clarify, we're using the soft edge. We're not using this hard bristly right. edge. Yeah, thank but you. But we we use this to demonstrate how small of a brush we really use to get into that bobbin. Yeah, and it's nice. It's, a, it's efficient. It's an efficient one. Okay, you wanna? All right. Okay, really inexpensive item. It's a uh, oil for the machine. But what's unique about this one is it's in the metal spout, which really helps get into those BBs because we all know how frustrating it is to get that little teaspoon of oil into the BBs. Right. But with this, you can take the metal spout and with your thumb, you can leverage it into there to pop that BB open and then slowly put oil into it. it makes it really easy, uh, much easier than just those plastic ones. Right. Exactly. Yep, and also the slanted oil on the side of our machine where it slants and we put it in the hole, that delivers that oil very well. So another one of my favorite things is called the Easy Cut. Have you ever been standing at your bobbin winder and you're widening bobbins and you're looking for the scissors to cut your thread? Where right? are they? Where are they? That's right. <laughs> You've seen me do that. So this is, we attach this to the base of our bobbin winder, our, our standalone bobbin winders, mm -hmm. and then we have a little cutter right there. When we get ready, yep, you just slip just, that just under like there. Just like your sewing machines. Yep. So I'm going to butt in and do one more. All right, you can butt in. So this one is a, it's a small crochet hook. Hook. It's one of the smallest crochet hooks you probably will ever see. But what we use it for is those dreaded loops on the backs of our quilts, right? Those are enough to make me cry. <laughs> so what we do is if we, to, to take care of that problem, we use this little crochet hook and we go underneath through the fabric and the batting, come up to the loop and grab it and pull it and thread it back in to the back of the quilt and weave it back in. So, and also, I've been quilting, and if you ever been quilting on a white quilt and you picked up a red thread, into your quilt and sewn it into there and you look down and you're like oh well this is yeah that's, that's a bad thing so it's disturbing so what we do is we use this little tiny crochet hook again to go through the whiff and the wharf on the fabric and go down and get that little tiny red thread pull it out and there's no damage to the top yeah. of your quilt so that is a nice tool all right for all you statler computer owners out there you probably saw this at the quilting with confidence store but it is, it is one of our favorite things, because yeah. as a mouse pad, you have all the short, well, not all the shortcuts, but a lot of the shortcuts yeah. that you'll be using are listed here. So that you're like, oh, what's that one? Oh, it's right there. Oh, look, export image, control E, got it. You know? It's a great makes one. It makes it really easy. You don't have to think too hard. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one a lot. I use that one a lot. So the next are these needles, and they're um, side threading needles. For those of you that want to do heirloom tie-offs, to your, your quilts that are or heirlooms or they're special, you're mm -hmm. competing in competition, um, you can just go ahead and, these are side threading, so you just put that thread in there, weave it down into your batting and, and so and hide those, those threads. So those are very convenient and make that process very easy. Okay. Well, so I'm going to have you talk about the thread loop real fast. Okay. So this is um, all-purpose thread lubricant. Sometimes when we work with cottons or specialty threads, they, they break easy. And the tension and the friction on those threads cause, can cause that breakage. So what we do is we put a pinhole in the top of this and we take and we put a couple stripes of this on our cone of thread. And then it gives it um, a lubricant to it that's safe for our machines, safe for our fabrics, and it also helps with breakage in our, on our threads. So that's a really nice, that, that should be in the no cry kit for sure. And while Jason's getting some other things, I'm gonna tell you about my favorite bobbin cases. Um, there's two types that we sell here that we kind of enjoy, what we, what we enjoy. One is the plastic ones. Um, you just put your bobbins in and they, they just flip right in there and it holds them, okay, like this. But my favorite um, also is this plastic one. Um, you can see here with, that Jason brought up, yep. it holds your bobbins and um, then it has a lid to it that you can actually take the lid off and use the lid for other things also to set in your drawers. And I can have one for my polyester threads, one for my glide threads, one yep. for, you know, my different types of thread. And it just, it really is a great organizer for your drawer. And if you look at our drawer, we have about four of these all filled with bobbins. So. Right, right. <laughs> but it makes it really nice. Okay. All right, one thing that I love, especially as, especially as a tech side, when you're looking at your machine and you've just finished a quilt and you're cleaning it up, you've, you've wiped it down, 
and you, you look down at your gearbox and you're like, I can see thread in my gears. Don't know how they or got there. Or your pulley. Yeah, your yeah. pulley. Sorry. Your belt pulleys, sorry. right? Belt pulleys on the edge of your table. You're like, how did those get there, right? Get some fine tip, fine tip tweezers here. Mm -hmm. And with those, they make it really easy to grab those and pull them out. Uh, okay. Use them all the time. Um, the other use for these as well is with your bobbin case. You can get that anti-backlash spring in using these, these tweezers. The tweezers here. Uh, Lisa likes the straight ones. Yep. I like the ones that give me the curve. Whatever suits you. It right. Works, right? It gets the job done. Find what you like. Exactly. Find what you like. So another item that I really like, I'm pulling out of the bottom of my box here. This is kind of fun. So this is a little magnet with a hook on it, and it sticks to the end of our our light. The, the, the handlebars. Light, the handlebar light, and it just we put one on each end, and it holds our scissors and our nippers. So they're right there with your machine all the time. You're not running around trying to find them. And that's really, really important to keep those right close by. So that's a nice little item. It's very yeah. inexpensive. I, mean, I think we've all been there. We pull up the bobbin. We're about to go. I'm like, where's my scissors? I need to cut right. it. So I want to tell you an experience I had a long time ago. I had a bare pair of blue handled scissors, and my quilt was blue. And I was in a hurry. I had a deadline. And I put the quilt, the scissors on my quilt. And I started to roll, and I started to look for my scissors, and I couldn't find them. And I looked back at my pickup bar. And there was a bulge in my pickup bar, and that's where the scissors were. So I unrolled it, and it was a customer's quilt. And I unrolled it, and guess what? Tore a hole in my quilt. The scissors did. So I, I have a kind of a saying: don't leave anything on your quilt, especially your scissors. So this is a great yeah. one to to make sure that doesn't happen. And it doesn't matter. Little nippers, little tiny scissors. Yeah. They just hang right off that hook, and that works great. Keeps so. them close, but keeps them off the quilt. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> But, right. I, but I had bow nash, so I could fix that quilt, remember? My bow nash room. Yeah. All right, one thing that you can buy from your local dealer is we call it the, the maintenance kit. There's a Statler maintenance kit, and then there's a Vision 2 maintenance kit. And what it does here, if I can open it, it has all those wearable parts that you you may need or you may lose. Right. Like a needle set screw. Mm -hmm. How how many times have people go to put it in, falls off, the, off your... Um, I can't think. Needle bar. Needle bar. Yep. Yep. Your <laughs> screwdriver, that's the way I was looking for. It falls off your screwdriver. It's on the ground. You're searching all over for it. You can't find it. You got one in your maintenance kit or your switches or you have another bobbin case. This is really great uh, when you're, you know, going, going at midnight, something breaks, you have it here to fix it. Absolutely. That's a good one to have. The other item that I really have liked is my um, Linda Taylor batting scissors. And these are very sharp. I've had mine for since 2012, and they're still going nice and strong, and they're beautiful. They're great. The long shaft on them, the long blade here helps you on cutting your, your, your batting. It's very efficient. Yep. Okay. Along with the batting is yep. we have a heat press for the batting. You know when you get those strips that are big enough but not big enough? You can do something with it, but you can't. Yep. Use this to combine them. It irons on and it puts them together. That way you can use them, you know, use your scraps. Right. We all, yeah. we all have scraps. <laughs> we sure do. Yep, and they pile up, make big piles, yeah. so. Okay, well, Jason, I think we're at the end of all of our yeah. favorite things, so thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, um, is there any comments or questions? Amanda's our uh, camera girl today. <laughs> so, so, yeah. You know, hello to everyone out there that said hi, and. We're glad you came to watch us. And yeah, and we'll look at your comments. We'll get back on yeah. and, and answer things as yeah. they come in today. And and if you want to make any suggestions of your favorite things, yeah, please great. do. Yeah, that, yeah. What, we learned a lot of this from our friends and our people that quote with us. So yeah. well, feel free to share. That's how we all learn, yeah. right? So, yeah. okay. We'll have a good week, weekend, and yep. Yeah. And thank you for tuning in.